Hello everyone, I just wanted to do a quick review of this Friedrich KEQ08A11A air conditioner. It is 7,700 BTU cooling and it has 4,000 BTU electric heat. So it does heat. I put it in last fall and I made it through the winter with it and it heats great and it cools great. It's very, very quiet, uh, very compact air conditioner. This is one of the smallest uh, units that free drink makes it's the only unit this size that has electric heat uh, and it uses a standard regular plug and uh, just wanted to run through the features real quick and also do a short section on um, Wi-Fi connectivity so uh, first of all the control panel is over here and right now it's off and one thing about this air conditioner that a lot of people have to get used to is it goes to sleep so if the display is dark, it won't respond immediately to anything that you press. And that's also true for the remote control. So whatever you do on the panel, you also have to do on the remote control. So uh, in order to turn it on, first you have to wake it up. And you can tell it's asleep because this panel goes dark. This panel goes dark after about 20 seconds. So first I'm going to press a button to turn the light on. And now it will respond to turning on. Of course, it is now set to cool and it's turning on. Compressor just turned on, and uh, that's about it. Uh, it's very, very quiet, a very quiet unit to use. Again, as I said, uh, the display is now back off. So again, if I want to turn it off, I would have to turn the display on, and then I can again turn it off. The same thing is true on the remote control. So if the display is black, then you have to press a button on the remote to wake it up, just like you do on this pad here. Uh, the reason that the display goes off like this is, you know, for obvious reasons, if this is in your bedroom or someplace like that, you don't want the light to keep you awake. Uh, but the, basically, the, the features of this unit are the mode here, which can switch from cool to heat to fan only, and then also to a split between cool and heat. So basically, I can set the temperature to where if it's above 69 degrees, it will cool. If it drops below 64 degrees, the heat will turn on. And of course, we're back to cool only. The uh, fan mode here is auto, which means the fan will be on only when the compressor's on. And then when it's cool enough, the fan will turn off. But if you, if you set it to on, it'll, the fan will always blow and the compressor will turn on and off as it needs to. But the fan will stay on always. And then, of course, we have the fan speed. Now, the fan speed on this is interesting because when you change speeds on this model, it will the fan will turn off and turn on the, at the new speed. That's the medium speed. The compressor stays on though during that. And this is the uh, the high speed, and then we're back down to the low speed. I also wanted to point out that this opens and inside here of course is the filter and over here is the menu button and then, a, and then a button that gets you back out of the menu. So if you press this for example, this is now the menu button and you can cycle through all the options on the menu button or you can uh, go back out by pressing uh, the button over here. So that's how you activate the advanced functions. It's not often that you have to use the menu, but it is there. This unit also, of course, has Wi-Fi connectivity and also has a carbon-based uh, filter. Uh, this carbon piece here is on top of the filter, and it's a separate thing that you can order from Friedrich to add a little bit of extra purification to the air. One of the things that was not mentioned in the instruction manual is on the display, there is a check filter that comes on every so often to remind you to, to clean the uh, filter here. And to dismiss that uh, warning that you get, you have to press and hold the fan and speed button for about three seconds. So you press them together until the check filter light disappears and then you can release them. And that will reset the, uh, the check filter. So the filter, you just grab these two tabs down here and you pull it out. No problem. But putting the filter in, 
is a little more complicated and I wanted to show you why. So when you put the filter in, I just wanted to show you what's up in here. In this corner, right here, there's a little wire that sticks down. And I think it's best to put the filter in behind that wire. So to put the filter in, I took off the carbon piece here and there's this metal plate right up here and I just kind of sort of aim for that. And I kind of just push in and the filter is now in place and it's behind the black cable up there. All in all, it's, it's very good. I will say this about the heating. The heating part works very well, but I do recommend for heat that you keep the fan set on the low setting or maybe the medium setting. I think the, the high setting is a little too much for the heat in most cases, at least initially, because the heat is only 4,000 BTU. So uh, you get a very good result on the heat when the fan is on the low setting. To be honest, I pretty much just keep the fan on low most of the time because it works. Uh, it runs me out of here on a, on a hot day even. It's been 93 degrees and, and it, I almost have to run out of here sometimes it's so cold or turn it off and let the room warm up. But it does a great job. It's very quiet, uh, very energy efficient. It's a good unit. So now I just want to go over how to set this up on Wi-Fi. This seems to cause some people some issues, so I wanted to go over what I did to set mine up, and hopefully it will be of some help to you as you set yours up. So let's talk about what you need to do first before you start the setup process. Number one is you need to enable or make sure there's enabled a 2.4 gigahertz channel for devices to connect to your Wi-Fi router with its own unique login. The Friedrich AC can only connect to a Wi-Fi speeds at 2.4 gigahertz. 5 gigahertz will not work. Most of these 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi routers do support 2.4 connections, but it may not be on or enabled. So you need to make sure it's on and with preferably WPA2 protected access. Number two is you need to know the SSID or the network name for the 2.4 gigahertz connection. You need to know the type of protected access you have enabled, whether it's open, WEP, WPA, or WPA2. Most likely this should be WPA2, so if you have control of your routers, set the 2.4 connection to be compatible with WPA2 as I already stated. You also need to know the password for your 2.4 gigahertz connection. And remember that just like the name, this is case sensitive. Once you have all that, you'll need to create a Friedrich Connect account at https colon backslash backslash friedrichconnect.com. You'll also have to figure out which type of device you want to use to register the AC on. You can use your computer, a tablet, or a smartphone. You can use any of those. If you do use a computer, you need to unplug the Ethernet cable if it's plugged in. And whatever device you use, your computer or your smart device, you will need to connect to that same 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection that the AC will use during the registration process. I think this is where a lot of people mess up is they try to validate the connection on the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi channel they usually connect with, and that doesn't work. Once the air conditioner is registered fully, you can then go back and use whatever connection you want for your computer or your smart device. And finally, if you are going to use a smart device, you may want to go and grab the app. You don't have to use the app. You can use the website, but some people I've seen reports online from say that they have better luck using the app and some have better luck using the website. If one doesn't work, try the other. But the procedure is the same if you use the app or the website to do the registration. So now that the preliminary is out of the way, we can start the registration process. To set up your AC for Wi-Fi, you log into your newly created Friedrich Connect account, or if you're using the app on your smart device, you can open that up and log in. And then you'll see an option there to add device. You'll click on or select that option, and then you'll get a screen that opens up, and on here you'll select your time zone. And then, of course, you'll select the next option. You'll then be prompted to click the Setup button on your Friedrich Connect adapter or Connect Enabled device. This just means that they want you to put your Friedrich AC in what I call Wi-Fi pairing mode. So to do that, you then go to the AC, make sure it's powered on, open up the front cover, and press the menu button. 
And then, of course, you can use the arrow buttons to advance the screen until you see CNCT, which means connect. When you get to CNCT, you press the menu button again. At this point, the Wi-Fi icon on your AC will be flashing. You then return to the Friedrich registration on your computer or smart device and click or tap next. Now you are prompted to select your AC's Wi-Fi signal. So you'll go to your Wi-Fi section on your computer or your smart device, you know, the place where you select your network, and you'll select the Friedrich air conditioner. Your number will be different depending on your model, of course. When you do that, then you go back to the registration screen and you will click or select next. You'll then be greeted with a screen that will prompt you to enter the SSID or the name of your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, which is case sensitive. You'll put in the Wi-Fi network security, which is, you know, either WPA, WPA2, etc. most likely WPA2. And then of course you'll put in the password to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. And that also is of course case sensitive. And then you'll of course click the next. Then you'll receive a prompt that the credentials are successfully saved please connect back to your Wi-Fi network. I don't have a picture of this on the screen, but you'll essentially go on your computer, your smart device at this point, where you select your Wi-Fi network and select the same 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection that you just set up on your air conditioner. Once you've successfully connected, you return to the registration page online or the app and you select the next button. You'll then see a screen that tells you it's looking for your air conditioner. Do not close this screen as it can take a few minutes to complete, but you should notice that the Wi-Fi symbol on your air conditioner is no longer flashing. If it is no longer flashing, this is a good sign as it means it was able to connect to your Wi-Fi without issue. The AC will then soon appear in a list online or in the app, and that's how you'll know that the validation process was successful. If it's successful, you can then log back into your five gigahertz Wi-Fi connection on your smartphone or your computer or how you were connected before. It won't matter now as long as your AC is registered and connected online. This is how I got mine to connect and I hope this was helpful for you.